Steve, is that you? Steve! Hold oh, on, long, long time no so see, good to see you, man. You too, what are you bro? doing? Are you working close by? Yeah, bro, I'm just working at Woolworths on a trolley boy. Man, it's so good to see you, eh? Seriously. Yeah. Bro, the rumours are true. You've got yourself a new job. Looking sharp. What? Thanks. No way. Yeah. You're married? Yeah, man. What? I'm married. My yeah, man. bro, it's been seven months, man. <laughs> Congrats, oh, bro. Thanks, eh? Oh, right. You've changed so much. Look. You've got yourself a new job. Oh, and I'd never see you at the pub no more. How did you do it? Steve, it was a miracle. Jesus set me free. He totally changed me. Man, he can do the same for you. Here I am, trying to drag this soul to hell, and he walks here. Christian. Before he became a Christian, I used to have him wrapped around my little finger, but since he became Christian, he doesn't listen to me anymore, and he breaks all my plans. The boss is gonna kill me! Quick, I need to update my Twitter account. Bro. The boss is gonna kill me, about to get smashed. <laughs> oh, but I come up with something else. <laughs> Mate, I don't need Jesus. I'm gonna save up, I'm gonna buy a mansion one day. I'm gonna have ocean views, I'm gonna drive a Ferrari, and mate, I'm gonna buy into a Muzzbuzz franchise one day. Steve, there's nothing wrong with saving up for the future. In fact, that's vital. But Steve, what would it profit you if you gained all the riches in the world and then lost your soul? Or what could you give in exchange for your soul? Man, none of the riches in this world compare to the importance of your soul. At least you're not as bad as they. You're a good person. Well, at least I'm not as bad as them. I'm a good person. Seriously, Steve. Honestly, I mean, you're a great guy. But anyone practicing evil hates the light and doesn't come to the light lest his evil deeds be exposed. God knows everything you've ever done and one day you're going to have to face him and stand eye to eye with him and give an account for everything you've done if god really exists why bad things happen to good people yeah well if god really exists why does bad things happen to good people well no one is good the Bible says that no one is righteous and each person has turned away by his own lusts. The problem is our sin. And not only that, but there's an enemy trying to rip us off and drag us down to hell. He hates us. But God, seeing us in that condition, decided to do something about it. He sent His only Son to die on a cruel cross for our sin. Talk about bad things happening to good people. Jesus was innocent and perfect and He died for your sin. But God raised Him from the dead. He's risen. He's alive. He has the power to change your life. He can do a miracle for you today. How do I get right? Steve, let's pray and stop listening to the devil. Yeah, bro, let's do it. Good on you, man. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, put your hand.